Greetings everyone, Sir Morgan here from the technical department. Today I'm here to show you an alternative method that can be used to construct any given regular polygon. Today we will construct a pentagon and a hexagon. We will first draw our line AB. AB will measure 60 millimeters. We will outline our 60 millimeters and label our points A and B. We will now draw a perpendicular from point B using our T-square and a set square. Ensure that your T-square is firmly held against the side of your joint table or board. Next, we will open our compass from A to B, which is 60 millimeters. The compass center will then be placed at B and we will scribe an arc from A to touch our perpendicular line. We will then label this line Z. Next we will draw a line from point A to point Z. We will now bisect AB, which is our 60 millimeter line, by opening our compass to more than half of this line and scribe intersecting arcs from point A and from point B above and below line AB. We will now draw a line from the lower intersection of arcs through the upper intersection of arcs. This line must extend to the upper section of your paper. We will now label point six and point four. These two points, 4 and 6, are very important points to us. Next, we will bisect the distance between points 4 and 6. To do so, we must open our compass to more than half the distance of point 4 and 6 and scribe intersecting arcs from points 4 and points 6 on the left and on the right. Next, we will draw a line that will pass through the intersection of both sets of arcs. This line drawn will give us point 5, which is the center point between 4 and 6. We will now construct a pentagon. To construct a pentagon, we will put our compass at point 5, the center at point 5, and we will extend our compass to A or B. We will then draw a circle which will fall on point A and also point B. We will now open our compass to AB which is the same as 60 millimeters. We will put our compass center at A and we will scribe an arc to cut our circle. We will also put our compass at B and scribe an arc to cut our circle.
From the last intersection, we will then scribe the final arc to cut our circle. Next, we will label our intersections to get points C, D, and E. Next, we draw a line from point B to C, from C to D, from D to E, And finally, from point A to point E. Now we have our pentagon. A, B, C, D, E. This method may be also used to construct any other regular polygon. We will then open our compass from point 6 to 5 to get point 7, 8, 9, and 10. Place your compass at point 6 and mark off the other increments. To construct an octagon, we would put our compass at point 8. But to construct an hexagon, which is a six-sided polygon, we will put our compass center at point 6 and we will draw a circle from point A or from point B. This circle will pass through both point A and point B. Next, we will open our compass to AB, which is the same 60 millimeters. Then we will mark off arcs on the circle from point A and from point B. We will also continue marking off the intersection of arcs on the circle from each previous point we drew. We will then label these intersection F, G, H, and I. Next, we will draw the other sides of our hexagon. From point A, we will draw a line to point I. From point I, we will draw a line to point H. From point H, a line will be drawn to point G. From point F, we will draw a line to point G. The final line is drawn from point B to point F. Our pentagon today is A, B, C, D, E. While our hexagon is A, B, F, G, H, I, and back to A. This method is a very universal or general method that can be used to create any regular polygon. Let's say you wanted to create an octagon, an eight-sided polygon. You would open your compass from the eight point, put your compass at B or A and scribe a circle. Then you would do the divisions on your circle to get your octagon. I will now label my diagram and I will also complete my title block. 